Doc Ford's rum right. bar and grill. <laughs> I am on the golf. But I'm not too far from Doc's beach house. Thank you for all the follows, folks. So, big Jack Crabaw. And you got another one following it, too. Trying to chase it. Thank you for having these lives. Love that area. Oh, you're so welcome. I can't wait to post uh, from your beach. Hopefully I'll get that, <laughs> get that done. There's so many of these live streams. I have so many great things to get out. This morning the manatee came up to me here. Flame box crab here last week that I want to get. So much, so many videos, so little time. <laughs> it is pretty. <laughs> yes, I will tag you. I will tag you, don't worry. Yeah, that's a pretty good size one. It's bigger than ones I catch back in the bay. Great start to Mother's Day weekend, heck yeah. Hope we can see him catch some. Oh yeah, there you go, Caitlin. Rita Springs is favorite. Yes, thank you. I want to be at that beach. Wow. Yeah, it's a big one. You'll see one of my videos here. I caught one of them back by uh, Lovers Key Resort. Not it. Not anywhere near. How far? A couple hours from Clearwater South. Impressive. Very beautiful scenery. The water looks beautiful. That fish looks really healthy. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever get red tide there? We do, but uh, it's not as common now to stop the flows into the Caloosahatchee for the most part. But only time will tell. Summertime is when we know the most. But it hasn't been as bad. Hello, Providence. Jack Craval. Is it expensive to live there? Yeah, the closer you get to the water, the more expensive it gets. Cost of living isn't too bad. It's just the rent or the mortgage prices are high, but everything else is pretty relative. Fried fish sounds good about now, I know. I'm pretty hungry. How far from Sanibel? 